All right, so we got the Oracle letters in. I uh, also got these uh, sticker fab uh, vinyl overlays to match the Badlands grill. Now these are a little bit different than the factory ones. These holes aren't as big, but I'm gonna try it like this anyway, just to make see if it works good. It says a heck of a lot easier probably to put these on here at the desk than it is uh, <laughs> on the actual grill itself. So the truck is at the uh, shop getting that PPF wrap. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on, get them ready. When we get the truck back, we'll take the grill off, bring it inside where it's warm, and we'll finish the wiring up and hopefully get these on fairly quickly. So stay tuned. All right, so this, we got all the sticker overlays on. They always send a spare. Thank you, Sticker Fab, in case somebody messes up. But as you can see, all the overlays are on. Uh, there is more white that would be showing. I'm gonna see how it looks. <clears throat> Ideally, it would be a perfect match, but since these slots aren't as big uh, as in the factory grill or the factory letters, these don't match up exactly. And you know, when I've, we've asked Oracle why that is, and it's just part of the LED design. Uh, they couldn't make those too big or just leave big gaps. So we'll take the word for it. But uh, anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna hit these with a the hairdryer just to try to dry them up real good. And then, uh, once the grill is off, we get them wired up and we'll see what they look like. Worst case scenario, I don't like them. I can always just peel the vinyl off and just leave them white. Okay, uh, now to put these new ones in, I did not uh, film myself drilling the old ones out. Uh, I'll send a link to Evil Trucks video that shows him doing so. Um, but yeah, it's not very hard. It's very easy. Uh, and these letters here are not adhesive to the grill i just placed them on there so that's why they're crooked so they'll be straight once you get them on there so just want to make sure everybody knew that all right one of the things you'll notice i did here i had to take this thing off there are three bolts uh there's where two of the bolts go in you can't really see for the wires but the front camera faces there one bolt's up there another one under here you know and then there's one back here you have to undo this velcro piece to get the wire move and it is right back there just to line this up sorry i just want you to line that up right there in that little hole anyway this comes off so i want to run the wires under this piece because whenever i go to put on the winch plate i will be relocating this to the front of the winch plate to the fairly with a jcr off-road kit so I want to run these wires back behind this so that way whenever I go to do that a couple months down the road I don't have to try to redo any wiring I can just simply pull this off and boom it's there you also notice I use these heat shrink tubes on the ends here because inevitably there's a part that's going to go across the grill. I've seen other people do other things but this is kind of my idea of trying to make it as discreet as possible because I'm going to run all these cables over to one and then do a one single outlet with a connection that's waterproof uh to go that connects here at the grill so anytime i have to remove this grill in the future which i will i don't have to try to redo all the wiring out the this the, the for the oracle lights so if i put the disconnect at the end of all these i pull the grill off i just got to pop the disconnect loose grill comes right off get it back on pop it back in boom we're good to go because i will have to put a also i'll have to put a adaptive cruise control bracket right here at some point or right in this area uh whenever i do the winch plate uh so i think it goes right in this area according to the eight uh add uh, directions so i probably will have to trim some of this out anyway so more to come on that uh so we'll wire these over this way so i'll probably put an extra one on these ends at least and maybe even the second to the end just so that way, whenever these things are going over, there's no red wire exposure. So I'll probably put a lot more of these little uh, heat shrink tubes on there to make this all black until it gets up closer to the end. That way, if anything does sag down, it won't show. So it might not be the best looking, but it'll be discreet, pretty discreet. So you won't be able to see it unless you're looking for it.
all right well they're on so i'm gonna go back and try to add a fuse later so right now i'm having to manually turn them off and on but we'll get that resolved at some point but uh the camera doesn't do these things justice they really look good in person uh i think the overlays i put on there may have helped some too because it really accentuates the letters whereas if they were white they might blend in more uh I am disappointed that the overlay colors from Sticker Fab don't quite match the grill, but it's two different painted surfaces, so there's only so much they can do there. But overall, yeah, I would say these are uh, pretty neat. So, definitely glad I did this, and definitely consider this a very good addition to any Ford Bronco. All right, so the Oracles look great in the daytime as well so i do really like this this is actually pretty nice the bronco lettering i think probably matches more of the cactus gray paint than it does the grill which is why i was supposed to think been happening but as you can see you can notice it in the daytime now great it's not going to stick out as much as it would at night but it's still there I'm still happy with it all right and for a quick wiring tutorial uh, here's the cord that goes into the grill with the lights and you'll notice that we snake it all the way up here and I did the add a fuse uh, per Oracle's instructions this is I think the sway bar so I'll put a link to this it's on Amazon and I'll put a picture of it so you all can direct buy it and uh, it connects directly to the wiring I had so what that does is it only comes on when the ignition's on so worked out really good negative i of course attached it up here uh, so it come off the fuse as you can see so that's a pretty simple and easy way to do it some people will wire it into their auxiliary switches whereas that bundle of wires there i chose not to because i have other plans for those switches uh so i put it in here and of course you can just you know put this back on and Take it off whenever you need to, and then you're done. So. All right, so you'll see the red wire here. This is what's going in the fuse box. It comes back out to this fuse. It connects down here with this black wire. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it goes under the grommet, uh, between the grommet and the firewall. The cord that you're seeing that goes through the grommet, that's from the GMSR antenna cord. It's not the same one. As you can see, it runs right there. In between the grommet and the core which that tucks in pretty nicely so yeah i just want to kind of show you guys that like i said it runs through here into the fuse box as we shown earlier and then it runs upside the fuse box outside the battery this is not it right here this is the uh, uh light bar wires bundled up but then it runs this cord up in under the grill cover and the lights all right sorry for the nastiness of the floorboard but anyway i ran the cord up under the grommet can't really see it here but bottom line i ran it to right here below the steering wheel you see the headlight assembly there's a steering wheel but i ran it right here so the way i hooked it in it only will turn on if the ignition's on but I wanted to have the option of turning this off and on with this switch in a discrete area. So that way if I'm out camping or I'm in an area that I don't want those on when the ignition's on, I can turn them off. So it gives me that option. So, uh, you know, like I said, some people may just wire it to be on with the ignition regardless. Some people may wire it with the auxiliary switches. Uh, but you know, this is the way I chose to do it. So do what's best for you and what's best for your needs and you should be fine.